Hey guys, it's Candace the Grandis, and today's video is all about organization. Stay tuned. So here's a before look at my pantry and fridge. Not too bad, but it had similar items on separate shelves, poor utilization of the limited space, and frostbitten items that I know I was not gonna cook. So the first step of this process is you wanna get prepared. Make a list of things you already have and things that you possibly need to get. This way you have a clear understanding of things that you may need to buy. I will literally find any excuse to go shopping at Target. I love the Rubbermaid Brilliance brand. They come in plastic, glass, individuals, and sets. OXO Softworks is another great brand. They keep your food fresh, and they're very durable. Don't forget shelf liners if your pantry needs it. For the in-fridge storage, I highly recommend InterDesign. It's sleek, it's chic, and it's gonna have your fridge looking fabulous. And they have a wide variety of options to choose from. The ventilation on this one helps to keep your food fresher, longer. And these I've used for years. They're great for grab and go snacks, meal preps, mixed salads, and fruit salads. Guys, here's a quick tip. Replace your Ziploc bags with these, you'll definitely save money. And if your fridge doesn't have an ice maker, you can grab one of these from Marshalls, Ross, TJ Maxx, or Home Goods. Next, you gotta create the vibe. Throw on something comfortable, make a music playlist or watch a movie. You wanna make it fun and not think of it as a tedious chore. Step number two, clean those containers, guys. And this is something you should do from the night before. Numero tres, remove and purge. You definitely don't want your coal items to spoil. So I suggest placing them in an igloo or bucket and fill it with lots of ice. Two hours later. Really? <laughs> oh, he has jokes. And it definitely wasn't two hours, honey. It was more like maybe 20, 35-ish minutes. And on the subject of purging, you definitely want to check those labels and dump anything you see is expired. You know, the duck sauce and soy sauce that you've had in the back of the drawer for all those years, dump those as well. In addition to spoiled fruit, basically empty containers, and things that you know that you're not supposed to be eating. Now, on to the dirty fridge tour. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So this is what happens behind the scenes. Because we have so much food packed in there, you can't see all the dirt, gunk, and old juice stains. And cleaning might not be your favorite part, but it's gonna be all worth it in the end when you see the final result. There are three things every household should have. Pine Sol, Fabuloso, and Clorox wipes. And I can't forget the Mr. Clean Magic Erasers. These work wonders. All right, let's start cleaning. Definitely get some help for this part if you feel that you're gonna need it. I don't want you guys to overwhelm yourselves. See, now didn't I tell you? I told you. My favorite quote from Benjamin Disraeli is, cleanliness and order are not matters of instinct, they are matters of education, and like most great things, you must cultivate a taste for them. So now that everything is all nice, fresh, and clean, we're on to the next step. Step four, organize storage containers. The smaller baskets were from Walmart and larger baskets are from Amazon. The idea for the setup is 
functionality, and accessibility. Keep items that you frequently use in the middle rows, and if you have little ones, keep their goodies at the bottom so that way it's easily accessible. And for my booze on a budget, you don't have to spend a ton of money. Put your DIY skills to use and make your own can risers. These are great for canned sodas. I can hold up to 10 in here. Breads and meal preps, yogurts and cheeses, and fruits and veggies. I especially notice that these keep my tomatoes, onions, and green peppers fresher for a longer time. On to step number five, filling the containers. This actually happens to be my most favorite part of the process because I find it so therapeutic. And guys, please don't come for me in the comments saying, girl, why aren't you wearing gloves? You're supposed to wear gloves when you handle food. Listen, I'm the only one eating this, okay? What a thing of beauty. See, I told you people, presentation is everything. And speaking of presentation, you don't wanna forget the labels. These I ordered on Amazon and it's gonna give your containers a nice cohesive look. Check out all the stickers that it comes with. You have a huge variety and it basically has everything. Guys, don't be afraid to repurpose things. I clearly don't use this ice maker, so I use it to store my ice pops and ices instead. Step six, restock contents. You wanna keep items that will spoil at the bottom of the fridge, that's where it's the coldest, and condiments on the door because that's where it's the warmest. See, it's all coming together, and yes, Sis could have bought more jasmine rice. I admit, I forgot to add that to my list. But look how beautiful it looks.
I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Look at that. Who would have thought about that? And I know some other geniuses may be asking, well, if I throw away the boxes, how am I going to know when things expire? The solution is write the expiration date on the back with these chalk marker pens. And guys, here's an unexpected bonus. Because you can't clean your fridge and pantry without getting to that spice rack. We're basically going to follow all the same steps, which is to purge, remove, clean, and reorganize. Consider using this expandable spice rack or Lazy Susan. Both of these I purchased from Amazon. Last but not least, number seven, grocery shop. Yes, go ahead and restock all the items that you love. And I admit that this pandemic has spoiled me because I Instacart every chance I get. And now it's time for the final reveal. Check this out guys, this is so aesthetically pleasing. And because I use see-through containers and wire baskets, it makes it easier for me to grocery shop because I have a better idea of what I have and what I need. And when your family, friends, or boo opens that fridge or pantry door, they're gonna be so impressed. My loves, thank you so very much for tuning in. I had fun and I hope that you enjoyed it. Comment below and tell me some other organizational videos or tutorials that you'd like to see on this channel. And not too bad for my very first YouTube tutorial, right? But wait, there's more. We're gonna be vlogging, doing hauls, wearing our fashions, living our best lives, and so much more. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also share this video with others that you think may need some help with organization in their lives. Love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video.